Hello and welcome. And next I will show to you that how to install these VVT I engines sensors back. Okay, and we have now three VVT I sensors, and this sensor is this crank shaft sensor. Then we have next in here what is this cam shaft sensor this lower part and then we have this uh, this core VVT oil oil sensor what what sends this oil and controls this VVT I engine camshaft unit okay and first first we install this uh, this crankshaft sensor and there is this this place in here and that hole and we need to first clean this area carefully that, that hole that there is no any sand and then it's good to take also ink knife and take all of these corrosion parts away in here and then when we have this sensor in here it's good to clean also the sensor and then especially check this 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 gasket part in here this part in here that this this moves and it is flexible and it, it this is very very hard and and not elastic then I recommend that that it's good to purchase new new o-ring but it's good that it even moves there a little bit this is a little bit thick but I think that this works and then we clean also that side and in that o-ring there is good to insert a little bit oil and then this this sensor goes in there and then I press that and it knaps in there good and then we had those screws what size is this and that length not very big and it's it's 10 millimeter bolt and I insert that in in there and I need a little bit move, move that sensor that I can insert this this part in there now it's in there and then I need this 10 millimeter socket and here I have this socket and this fits in there and I I rotate that in here and then I need to thicken this bolt in in moment tool and there is 10 kN this force and I take next my moment tool okay and then I have this moment tool and I set up here this 10 newton meters in here this force then there was 10 millimeter and I thickened that bolt okay and now it says that there is this enough this force and then then we then we go to okay and here is this this Core VVTI units place and now we are talking that part and there is good to first inspect that that is this part clean we, we clean this part too and these faces in here and then we check that is this this o-ring in here this o-ring moving okay this is good this this looks nice and then we need to clean 
also that area carefully and then I use knife. Knife and I I take those corrosions away. Okay, and this looks good. And then I insert that sensor in here, it goes in there, and then small press and it knaps. Very well made. And then again 10 millimeter 10 millimeter bolt short size and it goes and it a little bit move that that PVTI oil sensor and then I take my my 10 millimeter friends and I rotate that using my hand okay now it's there and then again this moment tool and I thicken I thicken this bolt and now it seems that this was this was not not the right place and, and then that one now I need Sort extra tool. Okay, and now I have this longer bar. I and I insert that in here, and then in this one, and then I can thicken this better. Okay, and now there is this ten newtons. Okay, and then we go to look next sensor. Okay, and then next sensor location is in here. Here are intake manifolds and we have this one sensor left and this is camshaft sensor. It controls that camshaft part movement and it knows all time that where is this sensor, this, these metallic parts. And first, first we clean that. There is no any and then this, this gasket in here we check that is this gasket movable like in here and this is good and then we clean that area this metallic face that there is no any sand and then we clean that that engine block area and we use also knife we can take those all corrosions away because if there is any any extra things in here it is like jump and there could be oil leak and then of course this cotton cloth and then then I insert that part in there and a little bit press and actually I noticed that there is a little bit sand in here or some dirt. Insert that in there and then I press that. And this part is there and then similar bolt as before. And it, it goes in there. And then 10, 10 millimeter socket. And final part is again to use moment tool and then kilonewton then kilonewton force okay now there is enough force okay now this sensor is ready and it's in here ready for measuring this campsite movement. Okay, and thank you for watching and we continue.